the uh, heating fan this morning is going full blast. Uh, we have had another little dip in the temperature. I can feel that in my legs. So anyway, the dogs are taken care of. They are surrounded by electric heating things. I will settle with this lamb wool scarf from uh, from Scotland, which is very warming. I have to say, it's very good. Uh, but today it is the sixth sixth of December, <coughs> and um, today I'm going to order shipping labels. Hopefully, package the orders that came in over the weekend, as the shop had an update. Oh, that's that. And um, I think. That is about what I will have time to do today. Um, if I have some extra time, it will be editing. So a lot of computer work today. Um, but yeah, hopefully um, the rest of the week will be... <coughs> hopefully the rest of the week we can do something fun that is not on the computer. Um, but yeah, that is, um, that is the plan for today. Uh, also... Have a dog outside barking. Oh. Nay, that's that. Bra. Um. So yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's get started. Um, updating the computer because apparently you need to do that all the time. 
all the time. What is coming? I have a new box with some tins. Um, we have this pretty one. I like these a little bit bigger where you can actually fit like quite a lot of paint. Uh, another Fairfax. These are quite common. This one has this sort of discoloration of red. And normally we'd like, oh no, that's not pretty, but I kind of like that they get like a little bit more unique in that way. Oh yeah, this was a wooden box. Oh, okay, put in here. I think I can use this one for, for something else, hopefully. We have this one. Oh, this one is pretty. It has like a little sailboat. It's a little bit dented in the, in the lid. We have this one is from the Swedish Tobacco Monopoly 2. Oh, okay, that was it. It is snowing outside, which is very lovely. Oh, do you want to look at my face? Also, what else? Um, I've been, yesterday I was looking like on, uh, on Amazon for, I don't know, I felt like hours, but I suppose it was just like two. I'm looking for something else. So I'm going to show over here. So you can see here I have my um, these cards that are made for baking and you know you put the bread in and roll it into the oven but then I have this silver pretty thing <laughs> and I'm wanting to have something that has a little bit more optimal optimal storage solution so I'm looking into something like that um, ideally something like the Alex things that I do have you know something with a lot of drawers I'm um, also would really like to have something on wheels so I can move it about so uh, I'm not I'm not really sure but I'm looking and mm, yeah so I have this oh let's just like actually take a deep look and okay so it's just so many boxes so these are just envelopes in different sizes all the pens and refills to that um, on top of here I made like a little tea station so tea stuff and the kettle well I'm using the kettle for making binder too and then here is like the big palettes this one is very empty but half pans these are pipettes I had the water brushes here, but those have sold out. So those are, and then there's just more pipettes back there. So, yeah, so I'm hoping to get something that looks a little bit more, looks better, but also can swallow a little bit more product because I feel like this, it doesn't like, I feel like I could fit a lot more products here if I just could, yeah, I don't know. So that's what I've been thinking. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to make another paint. Oh, and also I've been looking to get something like this. Do you want to see this now? <laughs> I feel like I'm just rambling. <laughs> Look at the pretty snow. Oh. I don't know, I'm thinking if I show you against the red maybe you can see oh. they say that it's going to be it's going to be warmer again and i'm like no thank you just i mean i know i, I complain about the cold but something that is worse than the cold it's shifting so please don't shift please just also, I do prefer the snow because it reflects more light, so it will be lighter, which I do prefer. I get very sad when it's dark. <sighs> okay, I, I, work, work, I know. <sighs> okay, <laughs> so it is half past four this Tuesday evening. It is pitch black. And it's been snowing all day, but I've managed to make two paints today, which is kind of nice, I have to say. Also, I had like a really long lunch with my mom, like two hours, <laughs> but we did manage to plan out 
pretty much all of next year. Now, have I done these big planning stuff before? Yes. Have I stuck to them? No. Um, I think for two reasons. I think one is that they were not detailed enough. It left me too much room to move about. And also, I didn't plan like um, far enough in advance. So what we have done now, it is like... So every month I have written down what um, colours are coming out, if there is new colours coming out, and what other products. Now there is of course room to manoeuvre, as, as it is, but I think it could be, this will be very nice. I've also done some templates on the because that's what I like to do. So we have two sheets of this. So it's just um, six boxes on each paper, one for each month. And in here I write uh, with one color of pen. I'm using this lovely pink one for the things that are coming out that month. And then with uh, my strawberry pen, I'm writing the stuff that I need to get it done that month. Um, and most of that is like start uh, having the colors ready for, for other months, but also the stuff I need to decide. So that's what I'm working on right now. And then I've also done, <laughs> I've done more. These sheets, they look like exactly the same, but here I have each week uh, so each box is a week and then I have one box for for extra and one for stuff to buy because I am I am not good at, at uh, knowing my points of reference when it comes to buying stuff so I'm hoping that if I actually write it down like, so if I'm in January, I'm like, oh, I'm getting low on something, blah, blah, blah. I can go to February and say, buy this in February. That's my point. Uh, also, uh, because I have all of these planning stuff that, like, in January, I have these colors I need to make. If I make anything more, if I make more videos, more colors, extra postcards or stickers or whatever, I can... And it was actually my mom's idea, and she was like then you should have an extra extra box for the extra stuff that you do so that you can like feel like oh yeah I did all of these things and extra I did that I don't know anyway <laughs> so uh yeah the weeks of the month I have not done like I have not kept like completely rigid because for example in in January uh, like week five uh, starts like on a Monday on the 31st so I've just said that week five is February so uh, but yeah that is about it and also for the month when we have more weeks I've just put to buy an extra in, in the same one so I'm hoping that the thing I will do last today is trying to fill out this as much as I can and then and then yeah it does feel a little bit better like to know that everything is so planned um i'm a little bit like oh there because right now there is some things that i want to have like for the spring that i need to order now so i'm like i need to get those things done pronto so i'm a little bit stressed about that but i'm feeling like i am really good with the colors so that feels good so, and then I think I will use quite a lot of post-its so I can move stuff about, but also because I'm writing like this week, uh, I feel like that is a lot, feels better for me. Like, so if I have an off day, it doesn't really matter because I have, like, um, I have other days to, to keep up. So, that is <laughs> my, my new approach, my my hope and my working towards becoming a better person that can take care and manage things and all of that. Anyway, I'm going to try and 
translated this to a written form <laughs> so that I and others, well my mum, uh, can read it, we can have it up here and yeah I mean I have tried before having a list of paints that need to be made and I just kept adding to it all the time without without thinking like if I had a day over I was like adding 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 so yeah anyway <laughs> going to fill it out and uh, tomorrow I don't know maybe we can start working on that stuff that we need to make so that needs painting that would be really fun <laughs> Filming has become trickier and trickier because people want to talk to me and I'm like, you never wanted to talk to me before. Anyway, we're working on some washi tape designs. I'm going to attempt to make my biggest batch of washi tape ever. Um, and I have almost 10 designs I want to make. And uh, it's terrifying because it's so much money. <laughs> but at the same time, I, I just really want to make them. Uh, they want to come out all at once, obviously, but so here is my idea. I want to have a little sort of mini collection that is horse related. I um, have spent many years, like 20 years, uh, riding horses. So I would really like to do something and keep within like this kind of vintage looking theme. So uh, I have a few elements here. They are from Maggie Holmes' uh, latest collection. If you're into scrapbooking, if you're not, you don't know who Maggie Holmes is. <laughs> <laughs> but she made this market square. It has some horse elements and I just really like them. So I just put them here to, you know, add some elements. My designs for the tape is I want to make one that is sort of brow band inspired by those vintage um, triangle shaped. Uh, it also so that Albert, he has, um, his collar is, looks like this. Uh, it's made out of like velvet. <laughs> He is so pretty in it. It's light pink and like a uh, dark red burgundy color and I just love that so much. So I would really like to have that into tape. This one I want to have that sort of um, saddle pad blanket look when it's that kind of uh, quilted. I don't know what you call it in English and uh, I don't want to look it up. So, And then uh, the last one I want to have the background transparent. So the only color, so if the width of the tape is here, I want this to be uh, in color. I want to have a buckle so that this is a le uh, leather strap. 
so you can see like that and then uh, different buckles just all the way along and that way you can either use it as a full like a repeat design or you can just tear it off and have like a buckle onto the page I don't think it will have this much bleed on the uh, like on the uh, finished tape but I'm just going to allow myself to have so that they are about equal yeah that's what I'm going to I'm really excited I think this can look really nice and I'm not too worried about the color choices I'm going to make now because I know that once I have it all scanned in I can tweak the color so it's more about texture and I want to, especially on this brow band here I want to really make an effort and try to get some watercolor texture with some uh, some bloom and, and some movement. Uh, I know we try to avoid that, but I love that texture in watercolor. So I'm really going to make an effort to see if I can get some natural, um, organic looking blooms happening. So yeah, that is my plan. Before I end the vlog, I just feel like I have to share the sort of finished result so far. This is the file that hopefully, fingers crossed, keep your thumbs, will end up as the finished sort of washi tape in my equestrian horse related washi tape collection. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to call it yet, but, and I don't have like anything else planned for a collection. I just felt like I really wanted to make these. Next step it is uh, contacting my supplier and uh, yeah I'm, I'm really excited. I love how they look. I love how they cleaned up 
and, and everything. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much and remember to take care.